What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Space Hulk Ascension. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we take a look at the next mission which is going to be Circle of Swords. I had thought that this was going to stay unlocked down here so that we can go back and do it later. I was, I guess, wrong. It's more like Command and Conquer Red Alert where you pick a path and once you pick the path, that's it. You need to do some level ups right here. And so for him, I'm going to make his ballistic skill better because frankly, I'm not totally sure. The Space Wolves, you know... They die in melee. Like, most of the time when they defend in melee, they still die. And so while they're promoted as the melee army, they're just... Melee is not feasible in Space Hulk. It's just not feasible. Melee is just a 50-50 gamble every time you do it. And so I really... I don't like the fact that they built a melee army that's not very good at melee. For example, I still probably lose 8 out of every 10 melee fights when I'm defending. It's just... You could increase your toughness, but that's only giving you a 10% better chance to survive it. You've got a 30% chance if you've got three points in right there to survive when a gene stealer attacks you. And it's just kind of like, eh, like it could happen, but you're still one in three. Eh, I think they should, probably should have given them some kind of defensive bonus as well for melee defenses if they wanted the army to be balanced. But what can you do? I think I'll go for the extra AP on him because AP is king in this game. Let's go back to the mission map and let's get going. The Iron Priests have set the powerful augury cogitators or cogitators of the ancient control room to mapping the Jotunheim's corridors and searching for signs of Hyrolf and his brothers. The Broodlords seem to understand the importance of this and are driving their gene stealer hordes forward in a furious attack on the control room. Any damage to the delicate equipment will cause it to fail. It must be defended at any cost. Sergeant of the squad. This is doubly important. This is doubly important because in the world of Warhammer 40k, they don't really fix things. Once it's broken, it's just kind of broken and they're terrified to touch it. They might pray over it for a while. They might like burn some incense around it and hope that it starts working again. But by and large, I think most of the machinery in Warhammer 40k does not run based on incense or anything else. And I'm incensed by that idea. But it seems to be a world where things just don't get fixed. So if you lose it, you lose it forever. You saw that in Dawn of War 2 where if the relays get destroyed, it's ancient technology that nobody knows how to fix. So if the relays get destroyed, that's that. Like They'll never be of use to anyone ever again. I'm going to put the B team back here to defend the room because I think that's probably the best way to go with all this. I don't know what's going to be spawning from what direction, and so I'm going to do my best to deploy in such a way. Yeah, through that door seems okay, so they've got a very short hallway right there so they can cut that corner and they can be at me within like four movements. That's very, very risky for me. That's a, that's a bad position right there, so if we're going to hold this hallway... I think that we'd be better off going for major choke points than lesser ones. It looks like there's a hallway right here that'll probably connect these two. You can still mouse over the doors. I've been using that as like sort of a cheat to figure out the layout of the buildings. They should have just left it the way it was in the original Space Hulk where you can look at the entire map the entire time. Given how important squad orders are, the order that you walk into the building can actually seal your fate in this game. And so unfortunately, foresight is kind of part of the game in Space Hulk. It's just one of those things that they allow you to have knowledge of the map, kind of metagame knowledge of the map, because frankly you're probably going to lose anyways either way. I'll probably have this flamethrower troop just kind of go back over here and babysit the room. He can flamethrower out the wall if he wants. It doesn't look like there's any doors in here, so he'll just flamethrower out the hallway if he needs to, if this position folds. On this side, that looks like another really short hallway. And so I may have him... I'll put him right here. We'll open that up, and then our goal for right now is just to step him back so that he's got a long hallway to shoot against. Looks like there's a reasonably sized hallway right here, and what I would try and do in this case is I want to create sort of like a mishmash of both squads. Like, I don't want any one squad to be in one area, I don't think. I'm going to open that. I should have deployed him right in front of it. That was a dumb mistake. So I'm going to have him watch that hallway. The enemy is more than likely going to come in droves in this mission. Because... I actually, I think that I could better defend this if... Well... I'm going to put a guy right there. And my goal in putting him right there... Is the hope that maybe he can shoot out that door. No, he wasn't able to. I don't know if I should go for it again. It doesn't give you a percentage, so it's hard to decide whether you want to go for another aim shot or not. There we go. So that aim shot is down. 
And what I would prefer to do is I'll step him back one further. I'll step him back to here so that they can watch long hallways by themselves and hopefully not get overwhelmed. I'll probably, since they've got two people in that room, I'll probably leave them with a flamethrower here to help out as well just in case this gets overwhelmed or just in case this gets overwhelmed. The librarian should be fine. His only access point is right there. There's another door right there, actually. Is there any other? Let me... I think this only connects through here, so he should be okay unless there's a spawn down in here, which... It's possible. It's possible. But so far, with one squad deployed, we're still in really, really defensive good shape. So I'll put a flamethrower troop right here as backup. He'll also open the door up for this guy. Backup units. I want to know what these are. These are lit up right here. I don't know what they are. It sort of makes me wonder if these are some kind of treasure that we can bring back with us. If we can... It seems like they would try and tempt you with something like that. Like, you're supposed to defend this room. But in the process, if you end up, like, running out and grabbing treasure, it's okay, too. No idea. No idea. Is there a door right there? No, that's just a wall. And that connects right there. Alright, well, I don't really like our options right now, but I suppose I should leave it once at least one bolter guy to help out with this room over here. So I guess I'll drop him right there to help out with this room, just in case they make a run on this guy and they defeat him somehow magically. I think our deployment is fairly solid right now. I'd like to get it to the point where we're just farming, basically. It's not going to be anything too challenging where we just sit and kind of kill gene stealers all day. But we want to stay away. All these little curvy hallways down here are problematic. I'll probably give him back up too, actually. Radius commanded. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably give him a little bit of backup so that we have double overwatch going right here because they may try to overwhelm one of these corners where you've got less movements. If the AI was smart, that's what I would try and do, is I would try and find these little hook hallways right here, and i try and overwhelm. Since he's only got three shots before it gets to here, he kills the first one, he kills the second one, he's probably overheated by then, and then we're in. So, if I was playing the Gene Stealers, that's what I would go for. Long deployment phase, just because I want to make sure everything's done properly. I may put a guy right here, just as sort of an advance unit, maybe to try and get through here. Use his first turn to shoot out the door, possibly. There you go. So now he's got a really, really long overwatch from that side. We'll overwatch that. We will overwatch that. And I think we are looking magic right now. Let's go. Oh, no, we still have a guy that hasn't been deployed. Oh, we still have the sergeant. Okay, we'll put the sergeant up here with him. If we see an opening, we'll have these two make a move for this over here. I mean, I don't know if it'll work like that, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go if we see an opening. If we don't see an opening, I'm not going to risk anybody's life on it, but... Okay, so it looks like on this side we've already got a hefty hunk of gene stealers. Well, one gene stealer. I don't know if that counts as a hunk of gene stealers. That's the new unit of measurement I'm using to, uh, to quantify gene stealers. It's a hunk of gene stealers. On this side, I wanted him to be backed up one further. And I wanted him to overwatch that way. On this side, I wanted him to back up one further. Technically, he could back up a couple further if he wanted to. But I think one, two, three, four should be enough with double overwatch on the last two. I don't think anything's going to get through. You may even get double overwatch on the last three, maybe. That side, I need the door open, so that would be fantastic. Leaving that door shut's going to get us into trouble. I'm going to leave him right here so that he's within range. Let me take a look at his flamethrower right now. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's exactly what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for. On this side, I need these guys to continue moving towards their defensive position. You there, sir. I'm going to need you to... Actually, there's really no need to babysit this hallway either now that we've got them in the way. And so babysitting this hallway is actually a bad idea. I don't think it matters. Yeah, because they've got to get through here and they've got to get through here in order to get to this pipeline. So maybe I'll bring him up and maybe use him as part of this lance group up here that's going to try and grab whatever the hell that is. That door is going to stay open, right? As long as everything stays where it's supposed to be, I'm happy. But the second that it stops being where it's supposed to be, I'm going to be very, very sad. There's no stopping here. There's only going. Okay, and it looks like they're actually... Wow, they may... I'm glad that I double overwatched right here. They may try to overwhelm this position. 
I don't think they'll be able to do it. I think they're not clumped well enough. I think we've got five right here. These two should be able to make it into here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they'll be able to make it in on the next turn. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They won't be able to. But what might happen is the AI is a little bit smarter in this space hulk. Sometimes it lumps up in one room and then comes after you in mass if it's trying to overwhelm you. So you know, things to think about. Might be a decent idea to maybe put him in a position where he can assist, possibly, because I feel like this position right here is actually weaker right now. Just get him into a position so that he can sidestep and this guy can flame out the room if need be. But yeah, we'll just have him rotate in between positions. On this side, we have three overwatches going against what looks like two gene stealers right there. He's still got AP. We'll have him move. You guys already did your deal, didn't you? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, so I want you to be right here. And these guys are the last vanguard. Like, if these guys screw up, then, you know, if everything else falls to shit, I think these two should be able to hold for a little while at least. We'll have him slightly turn. Since it takes an entire turn for him to turn, it's a literal turn, a full turn, I think everything else is looking pretty good. I think everything else is looking okay. This position, eh, a little iffy, but we should be able to hold it down. Let's go. We'll find out. Down here on this side, they're holding down the fort. Okay, holding down the fort right there. Looking okay. Alright, fantastic. Several Gene Stealers down. They are going to assail against this position pretty hard, though, from what I can tell. Over here, they're making the same rush. We've got a kill right there. It looks like everything that tried to come through has been eliminated. On this side, we may not be quite as lucky. We need to be very, very careful on this map about managing our reloads and our... Our reloads and our venting. We need to be very, very careful about that because if we don't keep that locked down, that's going to be what kills us in the end. I need to be very formulaic in going through every single Space Marine and making sure that they're all reloaded, they're all vented, they're all... You know what I mean? Everything is taken care of. Now, down here, this is looking a little bit sketchy. I don't know if I want to flame it out just yet, but they are hitting this position really, really hard. How much ammo did they go through? Enough. Okay. I don't know if I want to flame this out right now. I think they'll probably be all right. I mean, I can't promise it, but I think they'll probably be okay. Three gene stealers with one, two, four, seven shots on each one. We should be okay. We'll overheat before anything else goes wrong. And really, really, if we have really, really bad luck, they may make a run on that position, but I think we'll be all right. He's got a bit of AP left. And so, in fact, I may have him aimed fire down here. Bam! Got ourselves a kill as he explodes into nasty red blood. We will reload once again to make sure that that's all okay. And you've always got to remember to re-put them on Overwatch once you've reached the point that you fired. It cancels out their Overwatch if you fire, so you've got to re-put it on them. I don't know which way is going to be the safest to go after this relic. That's the next thing that I'm wondering about. This way is very, very suspect. This way is, it's risky, it's real risky, but I'm not stoked about bum rushing it without a flamethrower here to help out. Let's go. Kill on the first shot right there, kill on the first shot right there. We've got another kill, a bolter jam coming up really, really soon. Oh, but he made his melee save. Okay, so whoo, I should have flamed out the hallway. Should have flamed out the hallway. So I think that's actually shown a very valid point that this may not be a sustainable position. This may not be workable in the long term, especially if they continue to hit it like that. Because as we just saw, we have to make a... If they, if they break through, we've got to make a save roll. So it gets risky. It gets really risky. What we could do right now is I could move him into position and have him flame this out. Then we could have one of these guys step all the way back to here after destroying the door. And then they would have a really, really long firing line. And I think that would work out okay for us. We've got two AP left if we go down to here. Let's go just to, we'll go to there. That's, yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't want to, I'm, I'm ready to throw flame, but I don't want to throw flame riskily. So let's actually burn out this entire hallway. And so now, what I'd like this guy to get started on, actually, is we'll turn him from right there. Can he take a shot at that door from right here? It doesn't look like he can. 
So instead what I would prefer... Let's have a look at this door. If I close it down, I may be able to punch my way through it. We'll waste as much ammo as we need to with him holding this line right here for now. But I'd like to destroy this door if possible. Alright, so they're good. He needs a reload, but he... Okay, he's got enough AP, so we'll give him that for the reload. This is an intense mission. I'm not sure how I want to approach this one. We've got a giant line of Gene Steelers coming through on this side. I've got my line of fire blocked right there, so I think instead it may be a wiser plan to just get him out of the room for now because he's messing up the firing lines on this side. Over and down here, are you guys lined up yet? No. So let's just... In the case of desperation, let's get you guys lined up in case things really, really, really fall apart. And right there, you'll see the frame rate just randomly dies. There's no way to tell why it happens. If I click on another Marine, the frame rate comes back. Weirdest thing ever. I have no idea what's causing that. Sometimes when you click on a specific Marine, your frame rate will die. And then if you click on another Marine, perfectly fine. Perfectly, absolutely fine. No idea. Making sure all of our bases are covered. All right, we're covered. Let's go. We should have okay chances right here to kill that off. So he's got a little bit of overheating action going on. But I think we can aim fire that guy down. There we go. We'll save ourselves a little bit of trouble right here. Are you able to aim fire that corner? Uh, I feel like he would have line of sight to right there, but I don't think it's going to give it to me. I don't think it's going to give me it. We'll go ahead and reload him, and we'll put him back on reactive fire. You there. We will reload you, and then also vent you, and then we'll put you back on Overwatch. Him down here, he's pretty much okay. We'll just have him continue Overwatching. On this side, what I had wanted to do is we'll close that off, and let's take a couple seconds here to, I don't know, aim fire it? There we go. Lovely. And so now that that's aimed fired, what I would prefer to actually do is let's put a guy right here. How we looking on this side? We looking okay? I'll probably flame this out one more time. Just, you know, in the interest of fun and shenanigans and games. I think I can get him from right there. Let's try. Oh, it didn't count it. It didn't count it. That's okay. It was worth a shot. It was worth a try. I'll back him into that position and for right now... We'll have him overwatch right here, but my real goal was just to get this door destroyed so that he could be right here and turn around this way, and essentially this is just like our ultimate kill room right here, our UKR, keep us nice and covered. On this side, we're still looking good. On this side, I mean, I may just turn him around just in case they make it through the threshold and just have him hang out right there. I think we're probably not going to have an amazing opening to go and grab whatever these are. I mean, it may slow down a little bit later. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Overwatch is all good. Overwatch is all good. I right. Another kill right there from Long Bomb down the hallway. A couple of crossfire right there. We'll crisscross cut him in half with a big old X. We will show him the letter 10 in Roman numerals. Made with our bolter fire. And it looks like they've actually done a pretty solid job of cleaning up that hallway. Nice job, gents. Nice job. I'm going to go ahead and have you guys vent while you're sitting here. There we go. He doesn't have to do anything else on this side throw you on. Oh, you're already on Overwatch. Okay, so we'll have you go this way. We'll put you on Overwatch maybe right here. The reason being is if I put him right here, he won't be able to take a shot when the enemy... The enemy could forego an extra shot by going to here and then stepping to either corner and taking a melee attack. What I'm trying to do right now is make it so they suffer the maximum amount of attacks along all fronts. So... They could avoid taking extra attacks if they step across this way. So with him right here, it leaves us in a better position to get an extra attack whether they step diagonal in either direction. One last ditch chance to save his friends, basically. Because they are coming through here kind of hot and heavy. I'd feel better if I had an extra bolter right here, but we don't. So no point thinking about it too much. Alright, so he's vaporized in the hallway. We have a malfunction. bolter malfunction already. Bolter malfunction. He made it through, but he didn't get to take an attack. 
so we're not in too terrible of shape. What's the power fist looking like from right here? 77%. Bear in mind that if you miss on this one, he dies. So if that 77% doesn't go through, your character will die by default. So you really, really, really want to go for the 1% if you can. So for example, my recommendation would be to have this guy turn and see if he can get 100% with a flanking strike like so. And so that basically guarantees that he's not going to die. You know, it's something. Yeah, that's because you keep firing it. With two Gene Stealers left, I think I may play it safe. And go for a wide fire right there. There we go. We need to level up our Devastator. I don't know, what's it called when a Terminator uses a heavy weapon? Because in 40k, like normal Space Marines, if they use a heavy weapon, they're called Devastators. And so they've got like, you know, they've got like the Assault Cannons and things. Not the Assault Cannon, the Heavy Bolter. On this side, we will get him locked and loaded on this side. I'm only going to be able to deheat him, unfortunately. I think we're seeing over and over and over again, though, that this position is kind of weak. This position right here is not as strong as I would prefer it to be. Oh, he survived. Okay, well, he's going to have to make an attack roll or a defense roll next turn to see if he survives, so it's not that big of a deal. On this side, I could technically press my advantage now if I wanted to. But instead, I think what I'll do is, since we no longer have a Gene Stealer over here, I'm going to try and move down this way and maybe have him go out this way, possibly, and try and, I don't know, get to either end. I, I have no idea what to say right now. We're kind of in a rough selection of positions. This will, of course, force this guy out of the way, but we're not getting attacked from that direction right now, so I think it'll be all right. Is that everybody? And so he just burned to death in there. That was the sound effect that you were hearing. They are coming in mass, that's for sure. They are definitely getting themselves all up into grams and whatnot. We'll take that out, get him reloaded so that he doesn't have that same problem two turns in a row. Gotta back him up for just a second so the librarian can work his way through. Step him back into position, and overwatch. I really, really, really want to investigate what these are, but until there's just a very clear-cut opening, we can't make it happen. Can't make it happen. I'm thinking when we get down to like 15 gene sealers left, we're going to have like a very, very limited opening where we may be able to thrust out and see what these are, but up until then, once again, playing it real, real safe. All right, so are you overwatching? Everybody's overwatching, right? Everybody's looking good. You're not reloaded so let's have you reload how about that all right let's go okay so it's our turn one more time the gene stealers appear as though they are massing for an assault on this side that may get messy but ooh, they did exactly so what I was gonna do now is I was gonna take this guy and push no never mind they spawned somebody right there too I still can't push that way Well, you guys okay? Because you're about to have a hell of a turn. About to have a hell of a turn. Yeah, I reload them and let's see what happens. This is a make them or break them turn on the north flank, flank so... They're already partially overheated on their end. All we can really hope is that the ones that are in the back don't make it through. My has me. I think these two are probably going to get up inside the room, but they're not going to be able to make it that far, so we should be able to recover from right here. On that side, they're going to take their shots where they lie, and on that side, God, we just... I want to know what that is. I very much want to know what that shiny circle is. I am all about the shiny circles. All right, we'll get you reloaded. Actually, you don't need to be reloaded. You don't need to be reloaded. You can aim fire. There you go, Chief. That's why you're a Terminator right there. That's why you're a Terminator is because you can shoot the enemy effectively. That's why I put you on this team. That's why I got you here. Go ahead and fix their guns real fast. They overheat very, very quickly in this game. I think you get about six shots before it overheats. It's it's quick. It's real quick. But I think you may be able to take perks later on that allow you to go full auto a lot more aggressively 
without anything else like going wrong. On this side, he's still reloaded. I mean, technically, you could take a shot at him, but there's no point. He's so far away. On this side, we're definitely going to have to take care of this, though. So let's go ahead and aim fire him down. Did they spawn anybody else on that side? All right, so now is the time. Oh, maybe now was not the time. I didn't see that one right there because it was outside my scan range. All right, it's problematic, but I can deal with it, I think. Maybe, possibly, kind of. Uh, he's looking okay. He's looking okay. I'm feeling a little stressed right now. feeling a little stressed because I want to investigate these shiny thingies down here. And it's dangerous. I mean, I'm trying to play the game a little bit more aggressively than I'm supposed to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think they can only get to right here on the next turn. So technically, it might be a better plan to have him back up. But he can flame out the hallway if he needs to on the next turn by backing up. So on this side, he's already overwatched, but he doesn't have the little icon. So I'm going to reset it real fast. Because when, when the little icon doesn't show up, it makes me feel nervous. It makes me feel like he's not actually overwatched. All right, we're good there. These guys on this side still just hanging out, doing their thing, kind of bitch details, so that's fine. Not really getting anything done. Look at that lag. Look at that lag right there. And the second I click another Space Marine, look, it fixes itself. All right, so he wasted that Gene Stealer. Actually, he's not in too bad of shape. He's not in too bad of shape. I could risk a melee attack right here, and if he makes the melee attack... It would save him an ammo, and then he can make an actual real push for that room. In the interest of making it happen, I'm going to go for it. This is risky. He may die. This is really risky. He might not make it. All right, and so that's good right there. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to have him go for this room. He can flame the whole thing out from this end if he needs to so that he can get down here and investigate this thing. That also saved him an ammo. Pretty happy with the situation right now. On this side, we're about to have another hot and heavy heated moment with our lovely Tyranid friends. We've killed about half of them at this point. Let's go. Vaporized, number one. Number two comes through the gate. Vaporized again. Turned into that red cranberry mist. Oh my god, so they actually spawned a lot up there. This next turn is going to get really, really rowdy. I think I should have I should have played it safe, and I should have deployed a flamethrower up top and just left, like, one guy in this fallback room. I mean, I, I didn't think that they were going to make it that far through our positions, but... Right now, this next turn is going to be ugly. This next turn is going to be really, really ugly. So he's overwatched. He's overwatched. want to make sure everybody's overwatched and reloaded because this is the make it or break it turn right here for that position. I know we've had a lot of those make it or break it moments, but being serial right now, being super, super serial. What I would prefer to do on this side is he'll have what he'll have left. So he'll have two AP if I step to here. Okay, step to there then. Step to it as much as you want to, amigo. And the goal right now is to wide fire, like, right. That seems better. We'll go with that right there. Granted, we may not be able to kill him. Yeah, so he's still alive. He's going to have to make a save, though, on the next turn. So yes, come on. if he gets through the fire to begin with, this guy's already toast. So it's unfortunate. I mean... I really wish that since they had limited ammunition that the flamethrowers were infallible. I mean, they have such a limited supply of ammunition that... Well, this is the risk. This is what we signed up for. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grouse about it. I'm not gonna be upset about it if he dies because we had to take a risk to see what this thing is down here. This big lit thing. Hopefully he burns in the flames on the next turn. He's gotta make like an 89% attack defense thing on the next turn. So he's probably gonna die. This position is much more worrying though. Yeah, he burned to death in the flames. We're okay. Okay, so we got a kill straight around the corner. Another kill right there. Our first overheat has come into play. My weapon has failed me. We've done a decent job at killing them, though, so I think we might be all right here. That one made it through, but we should be able to clean him up fairly simply on the next turn. It's not going to be too bad. On this side, we're going to do the same dance that we've been doing the entire game. In a lot of ways, I don't know, this is almost like playing a tower defense game. And it's strange because I actually really, really dislike tower defense games. I just don't find them to be enjoyable at all. And so, it's weird that I like this game so much. I think the 40k helps. 
go for the kill right there instead of deheating, and we'll just put him back on Overwatch. He's got enough ammo to make it work. It'll be fine. Oh, you can't actually get to that, so I guess that I just overextended myself. I don't know. Let's turn and make sure there's nothing we can do with this. Yeah, I just overextended myself for nothing, so I guess that's just like a big, bright, glowy thing out in the middle of nowhere, I suppose. Alright, well let's do our best to get him as far away from this Gene Stealer as we can then. He'll probably go, is he at the corner right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, he's gonna die. I just messed up. I miscounted. I thought that that looked far enough, so he's toast. Sorry, pal. It happens. Thus comes the Space Marine's duty. And he's definitely gonna be making a duty in his pants. Yep, there it is. Duty all over the place. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I I miscounted. That's what happens when you don't know how to count to eight properly. I thought that he was one from the corner over here, and then I recounted it after I moved, and that's what done me in. Well, that's what done him in. It didn't affect me at all. I'm kind of eh about it. Really, you guys still aren't going to get him, huh? For revenge's sake? Okay, so we've got that done. Who overheated? Who overheated on what side here? Hmm, he looks okay. He looks okay. Oh, he overheated. Okay. Go for another one right there. Gentlemen, how are you doing up here? Doing fine. Let's go. I would prefer to bypass this mission as quickly as possible. Honestly, this would be one of the missions that I, if I had to choose missions to edit out, this would be one of them just because... You know, today. we're doing the same mundane things every single turn. Like, we haven't moved at all this entire time. Unfortunately, we didn't get any loot. I was hoping that that would be worth it due to the fact that we would get, like, loot or something. But, unfortunately, it didn't work. Reload him. Get him all ready to go. And, in fact... Eh, it'll probably be fine. I don't think he's going to make it through. If he does, it would be a miracle because he's got sustained fire, like, stacks up of, like... He's got really, really big sustained fire stacks on him right now, and it would be... Fairly miraculous if he decided to survive. Sure, reload you while I'm here. You guys, you all good? They're all good. Alrighty. Yeah, I was gonna say, if he makes it all the way down the hallway, it is so statistically unlikely that he would make it down that hallway that it would blow my mind if he made it. It would definitely blow my mind. Okay, lots of shooting going on. I'll give you guys the big view up here just in case you're kind of bored watching right now because, frankly, these defensive missions, if I had to scrap, if I was the developer, I would have, I would have scrapped these defensive missions or at least made them a little bit more interesting because as they stand right now, they're probably the most boring out of all the episodes, out of all the possible episodes I could do. I mean, we could talk about random stuff if we wanted to, and these 10-man squad missions are always bad because the lag is super terrible as well. And this is with the game on, like, the lowest graphical setting right now. Like, you can't fiddle with this game like you can with most games. You can only go with presets, and this is the lowest you can go, and it still lags out super hard. So, unfortunately, it is what it is. Wish I could make it a bit smoother for all of you, but I'm doing my best. Wow, you guys messed that one up bad. Alright, well... Since you decided to not kill him properly, maybe you should do that now? Oh good, you're still not gonna kill him properly. That's fun. Alright, well maybe he can try. Huh? Wow! The universe's luckiest gene stealer right here. The universe's luckiest gene stealer, I'll tell you what. Really? There we go. Securing position. Like I, I need you guys to I need you guys to do this right now, and they could still technically get whacked on their next turn if we don't make the shots we need. If our luck continues as it has already previously, it could happen. I'm gonna reload them now rather than later, since they've got a little bit of a lull in the death march of gene stealers here. Did you guys at least get him? Okay, you both... It looks like they both jammed up, but at least they sort of got him. I don't know. 
They're shooting at something down here, and I don't know what it is. The game doesn't represent line of sight very well. Unfortunately, it feels like a lot of the time they're just like firing at random darkness, and you can't really see what's coming, which is a little bit disappointing to me at least, because I like to watch my enemies explode in giant puffs of death. That's how every every the true soldier of the emperor loves to annihilate in that fashion. I know, no true Scotsman. Somebody will say it. They'll be like, ah, oh, Splattercat, no true Scotsman. You can't say that. You can't say that. To which I would respond, well, I kind of just did. So, boom! So we'll kill off some dudes down here. On this side, I guess he decided not to shoot. So I suppose line of sight was probably impeded right there. We'll go ahead and deheat all these lovely little defensive units. They're always so defensive. They're always so defensive. It's very, very easy to get underneath the Space Wolf skin, especially in a situation like this because it's defensive, you know. I think we're just about at the end of this mission, so I think we should be okay. Let's have a look here. Ooh. Ready to fight again. Wow. Gene Steel is getting real lucky the here, unfortunately. So I guess we'll go ahead and take our chances on this side. I mean, he can still take a shot. He can take one more shot, so he might as well. Yeah, I was going to say, he might luck into a kill. You can never tell. I would hate for this position to fold, like, at this point, though. We've made it so far. And if it folds at this point, ugh. Just not something I feel like suffering through, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get our reloads on down here. That leaves us with a couple of AP to aimed fire at these little gents. Okay. So whereas his predecessor was very, very lucky, he was, in fact, not very, very lucky. I think we are solid right here. Securing area. And I hope that the enemy will be not so solid, to quote Nishka. There we go. So the enemy, not so solid right now. I think this will be, we're probably about three turns left. They're probably going to do one big spawn at the end. And so now we get to find out if this upper position is going to hold or not. We're going through a lot of gene stealers. I mean, the nice thing about this is it's a very, very pleasant way to level up our troops. I don't know what that was right there that was flagging up. That was a little odd. There's one gene stealer left. So we lost one guy doing something risky, trying to figure out if the shiny things were lootable. Lesson learned, we now know that the shiny things are indeed not lootable. It was death by shiny. Tends to happen when I play games like this. Death by shiny, very, very likely way to die if you're hanging out with Splattercat. I'll be like, hey, go check out that, spot, that shiny thing over there. It might have treasure in it. What if it has an iron halo? Uh, the last one's going to give us a run for our money here. All right, finish it off. There we go, and that's going to be the end of the mission. Let's see what our XP is looking like. I'm really hoping that somebody got some decent XP here. I don't like losing characters, but if we're going to lose one, you know. So Einir looks like he got a very, very large share of the kills. Balder looked like he's doing pretty well too, but by and large it looks like we spread around quite a bit of XP on this one. I'm happy about it. We've had Arnfin has replaced whoever it was that was killed, who died. So we lost one Termin- I didn't even know his name. I feel even guiltier now. I don't know, they're sort of expendable to me. I mean, in the world of Warhammer 40k, a Space Marine dying is kind of a big deal because there's not a whole lot of them. They tend to be just like the fist of death in the universe. They don't tend to die very often, but when they do... Eh, Oh, wow, we've got a bunch of choices right here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do, I'll do my level ups in the next one. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Space Hulk Ascension. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and hi-do.